that has helped to get familiar with this tool. In the field Query, you need to enter the technical name of the query. Please choose the HTML mode since it's the most suitable one for analyzing queries. The most important buttons are Execute, Execute and Debug, Properties, and Technical Information. Click on the button Technical Information, which offers a list of technical details of the query definition. For instance, you get information displayed about the info provider the query is defined on and the usage of OLAP features like constant selection and exception aggregation. Back on the main screen, we press Properties in order to check some of the basic query settings. For instance, this sample, sample query uses the cache mode 5, which is the recommended one. Read mode age is the default setting and the best one for most of the queries. Please note that the URL parameter variable screen equals x is necessary to get the variable pop-up displayed. No mandatory variable is included in addition and it is recommended to use the default template zero ad hoc. Now we execute a query 0d fcc01 sample query 1. Now we fill up the variable values. We assume that a user of this query complained about incorrect numbers for the first two key figures in some yellow result lines. To reduce the complexity of the query in order to simplify the analysis, we can remove the info object industry from the drill down, restrict the query to the country Germany, and only select the key figures we are interested in. Then we can save a bookmark, which can be used for all further checks. Afterwards, run the bookmark in save mode. This is a convenient way to switch off some functions, which could lead to wrong numbers. For example, aggregates and OLAP cache aren't used, DB optimizer functions are deactivated. You can use the key figures definition to get technical details displayed for the affected key figure for a certain cell. 